Hey guys, this is Dal Phoenix, and today we are taking a look at Star Fox Zero for the Wii U. So let's go ahead and get into it now. Uh, this is a game that I've beaten already, and uh, I have some very mixed opinions on it. But we'll get into it in just a little bit. So let's go ahead and get into this here. Alright, so we're just going to go ahead and... Go to the main game, I suppose. And we'll start with stage one here. I decided to show you guys a secondary screen showing what I'm doing here on the Wii U gamepad. Because this game does heavily use the gamepad, and so you got to kind of have an understanding of what's going on here. So let's go ahead and hop into the first mission here. Uh, where we fight in Corneria. So let's go ahead and do this solo play. Now you might notice there is a lack of dialogue. Like you guys are not hearing anything from the characters. You may think, well, it's a Nintendo game. They often don't have voiceovers. Except it is a Star Fox game. That is one game where they do. Now why is it that we're not hearing the characters? Well, because Nintendo made the brilliant decision of making them talk through the Wii U gamepad. So I'm going to go ahead and turn on the gamepad on Cordaria's you. Orbit. <sighs> it's been too long. Uh-oh, looks like trouble down there. Urgent message from General Pepper. Star Fox, do you read me? We're under attack from Andros's army. We need your help immediately. Guess we'll have to save the sightseeing for another time. Check your G diffuser system. <laughs> yeah, so we'll just skip the tutorial here, because I've already done it. But, let's go ahead and pause it here. So I want to make sure you guys can actually clearly hear the audio. Unfortunately, because of Nintendo's decision... We have to resort to using this. This is a three and a half millimeter audio cable that I'm going to connect to the gamepad's headphone jack and then the other end to my sound, uh, to my capture device so that that way the game audio for everything will come in clearly. So we're going to go ahead and skip ahead to doing that. Okay, we're back now. I have the audio fixed finally. And so now we can actually play some Star Fox. And so far, so good. It's played just like a Star Fox game should. Um, as you notice, I don't have the motion controls enabled right now. But if you really want to, you can pause it. And you'll see on the controller here, it says motion controls on while using ZR. Or motion controls always on. This is really interesting to point out because there is not a motion controls off, as you can clearly see here. There's just the two options, the two settings, and that's it. I like using on while using ZR, but you can also do always on, which is what we're going to demonstrate here. So now, you'll see... Well, actually, I don't know. If it, is it on? Oh, it is on always on. So I guess it only actually affects the cannon itself, like it doesn't actually move your ship, which is another really weird thing, like, when you think motion controls, you think it's going to move your ship, but it does not, clearly. See, it just moves, just moves the cursor for the fire. You can see there. So yeah, I'm trying to like look at both the game and the gamepad at the same time, make sure I do things right. Ah, crap. Okay, um, now this is one really cool thing about this game. This is something I never hear anybody talk about, but you can use the minus button right here to change the viewpoint so that you can actually get a first person view on the main screen and the ship view on the side if you want. So that's really interesting. I really like that choice there. And let's let them shoot at Slippy, why not? We don't care about Slippy, right? <laughs> Okay, let's take him out now. Might as well for points and whatnot. Oh, there's a secret tunnel I missed. Whoops. Oh, well. Okay. Well, as you can see in the main view, 
your accuracy is terrible. Like, it's, it's just all over the place. So I like playing in this view, so that that way you can actually see what's going on. You know, you get a lot better accuracy with it. And then, of course, let's turn off the motion controls, because they suck. They really do. So, yeah. <laughs> I, I just don't get why Nintendo forced it on people, you know? It's... Or, and, and, you know, I don't think I would even mind it that much if it was at least done in a natural way. But it was not, so that's kind of a bummer there. But regardless, you know, I really do like changing the views. That's a really cool feature that uh, I'm glad they did. That's really the best thing about this game, in my opinion, is this in the graphics look great for a Wii U title. You know, they really do. And I'm not really sure how you take the other path at all. Like, I don't think there is any possible way. I've never seen anybody make it. Yeah, obviously my scores suck, but I'm trying to kind of focus on two things right? at once, so just bear with me, you know. Alright, so as you can clearly hear, we can hear the audio now, but if you did have Star the lack of Fox, cable like I have right I'm here connected floor. to your you capture card, help. You wouldn't be able to hear it except through the Wii U gamepad, which would have to be picked up by my microphone. So, obviously the quality would sound pretty shitty there. So it's a hassle for people that want to live stream and things like that. So I'm going to pause real quick. And I'm going to show you another problem that we've got here with the game. Is the way you do the controls, the R-Wing. So... Um, as you can see, this is the main R wing controls, as you guys can see here. But you also have these moves that you can use with the right stick. Notice one problem with the controls here. Okay? Barrel rolls are relegated to doing a double right tap on the stick. Every other Star Fox game, basically, except for Command, because Command was a weird-ass game had this for the barrel roll. You just double tap that real quick, you do barrel roll. Same with the left. You just double tap it and you're good. Why couldn't they just do that? Why do we have this button not used at all and this button is used to shoot a bomb? Why don't we have Y map for anything at all. Why can't Y have been a bomb? You can clearly see on the screen Y is not mapped. Why couldn't that have been used for the uh, barrel roll? I mean, we got the U-turn uh, and the somersault mapped. Why not the barrel roll? Just a terrible decision, without a doubt. Without a doubt. Anyways, let's go ahead and continue on playing now. So anyways, I guess we'll go ahead and U-turn, which we can easily do with just the B button there. No having to use some funky right stick controls. Enemy down. What would have been really nice for the right stick would have been to manipulate the camera. Like, you know, right here obviously we've got the behind the view Star Fox, but what if we wanted to get a quick view of behind the ship or to the side? That's what the right stick should have been used for, was to get that kind of at-a-glance view. Especially when you consider that this game has no radar or anything like that, like basically every other past Star Fox game, like Star Fox 64 and Star Fox Assault, that had these modes. They had radars. Now you might notice, well, why is the view like this? Well, it's because we're now in a boss fighting segment, so you can hit this, of course, the minus button to change the viewpoint. The containers are opening. And now we gotta fight these giant spiders. We're in deep trouble if they reach the tower. I guess you're good for something. There we go. And I, I thought it was a ring. I don't know why. <laughs> there we go. You can also transform into the uh, the walker too. Which uh, it, it, it's really funny. For sharper shooting, use your motion controls. That is not sharper shooting, you retard. That is not. <laughs> you want to see how that's sharper shooting, Peppy? So let's turn the motion controls back on. All right. Yeah. Yeah, that's sharper, all right. 
I have to move the controls around while I'm trying to play the game. You know? Yeah, I have to do this. See? Yeah, yeah, that's what we gotta do. That's sharper shooting, Peppy. Ha! Yeah, I mean, it's been a little while since I've played this, obviously, but... Wow. That is not sharper shooting at all, Peppy. Just leave this on. It'll save the setting for you, so you don't have to worry about it. Okay, so let's go ahead and transform back, because obviously that was not a good idea. We're just gonna circle around a little bit. Charge up the shot. There we go, that's the way to do that. Not really. <laughs> There's more coming from the shoreline. Watch out. More from the shoreline. I didn't see that. Let's go for it, though. I don't know how. I didn't hit the. Ah, I guess maybe I did. Well. For sharper shooting, use your motion control. Ha <laughs> ha for sharper shooting, use your motion controls. Really, Nintendo? In 2016, we're still gonna try to argue that? Let's be realistic here. Not sharper in any way, shape, or form. As I've clearly demonstrated for before. For sharper shooting, use your motion control! That's another really annoying thing. They, they never shut Get up. Those creeps off the tower. I mean, yeah, they talked a lot in the old games, but at least it was for something that was relevant. Okay, whatever. Let's just turn around. Target view is this view right here, in case you're wondering. It's where you get the overview of the battlefield. Kind of. Yeah, I'm playing really terribly here. Cause I haven't played this in forever, man. No! I haven't played this game in like a month because it's just not been very enjoyable for me. I mean, that's pretty much what boils down to it. But, Let's yeah. Go. Now that being said, there are some really good moments in this game. You know I mean? I make it sound like it's the worst game ever. It is really not, um, not even remotely close, but it's just, it's so underwhelming as far as a Star Fox game and it, it feels like it was forced to be underwhelming and to be crappy because Nintendo likes to not give us what we want you know they want to give us games like uh, Mario Color Splash and things like that you know uh, games that nobody cares about and they really want to force them down especially like Federation Force but as for a real Metroid game What's that, says Nintendo? You want a 2D Metroid game? You want a new Metroid Prime? Like a regular Prime that doesn't have chibi characters? No thanks. <laughs> um, and, uh, yeah, it's just really disappointing, you know? I mean, Star Fox Zero is a game that... It's a budget title. Like, I probably wouldn't pay more than 30 bucks personally for this. And this game desperately needs a patch for various things. One, we need to completely disable the motion controls because they're still somewhat enabled. Like, whenever you're holding the fire button, the cursor can still move when you move the gamepad. Um, which is kind of a shame. There's not any way to actually fully turn it off. For two, this. This thing right here. The only reason you guys heard the talking is because I had to plug in a headphone jack to my capture card. That's just unacceptable. Why do I have to use the speaker on this controller? What if I want to play in the middle of night when everybody's sleeping and I guess some would say, well, you can plug your headphones in there. Well, the thing is, like, I have headphones that I can plug into the back of my monitor, which outputs much better audio than the Wii U gamepad. And I'd like to use that, but I can't because I'm forced to use this. 
in that circumstance. Plus, you know, if I was wanting to stream the game, then you have to use this if you want the characters to hear the dialogue at all. You know, the characters, the, the people to hear the dialogue at all. And then finally, we also have the issue with the somersault, the barrel roll, or not, summer, not somersault, the barrel roll. Why can't we do this like every other Star Fox game? You know, these buttons right here, Nintendo. Why is this used for shooting bombs? Why is this used for nothing? Why is this used for nothing? Why do we have to do this or this, you know, this kind of crap? Why do we have to do that? So, yeah, that's, I'm just disappointed in this game overall. Uh, hopefully, with this video, you guys can see why, kind of. Um, this game's going to be passed on to a good friend of mine. I'm going to sell, sell it to him for a decent price, and, uh, you know, I guess I hope he gets more enjoyment out of it than I did. You know, but uh, that's all I've got to say for now as far as on Star Fox Zero. Uh, but till then, down Phoenix out.